Oh, good eye, Bruce. Uh, so I am uh, testing some tutorial software here, and I thought that seeing I don't get to see you, I'll make you a tutorial quickly on how to create a route on your watch. So here I am opening Garmin Connect. If you're not familiar with Garmin Connect yet, then we might have to start there. Uh, and uh, you can either just c click on the, the uh, menu here and find courses, or you can go and click on the courses tab specifically. Uh, and then I want to now create a new course, so I can go click Create Course here. There's also a little plus button on the on the tab uh, that you can get to quickly if you want it. You see, I've set up different profiles for uh, different types of activities uh, on my watch. Okay, so now now I want to go and make a route in Geneva for when I'm there for uh, ESA. So here's Geneva. I'm going to hide this little elevation tab so I can see better what's going on. And there's Geneva. Uh, and actually, uh, I don't know where I'm staying, so let's just make a random bit of a course. And what I quite like to do is I like to look at the satellite map, because then I can see you know, what the different areas look like and if it looks pretty. Uh, and what you can do as well is over here, you can switch on running segments, which show you where people like to go run. Okay, so now we can see, okay, people run along the lake, they run along the river, they run on the hills here. So let's make ourselves a little bit of a route that goes along the lake and maybe through a part of the city over here. So what you do is you zoom in then in. And uh, it can be a little bit cl tricky to click where you want to click if you've got the running segments on, so switch that off. I like to switch the kilometer markers on. Uh, and then I'm going to just say, let's let's start over here at this fairly central looking point, And let's go here along the... Uh, along the lake shore you can see I've got stay on roads set on there so it will keep me running along uh, specific routes or, or actual routes it won't just run me across the country um, and uh, right so then maybe maybe let's come over here and sort of head into the burbs uh, it's chosen an interesting route there well let's just live with it and then what's this office of the Internet United Nations let's run through there that looks nice let's skip this rather industrial looking area there um, Okay, and then I'll just tell it, loop me back to the start. Find me a way to get back where I want to come to. Okay, and there's made a nice route of 10.64 uh, kilometers. Let's say I actually just want 10 Ks. Come, take me through here. Um, no, no, but maybe, I don't know, maybe make me run up the road there. Oof, no, it doesn't like that. Uh, so if you want it, you can just delete segment points that you don't like. Let's delete that point there. I don't know where it's taking me. Delete that point. Ah, now it's rooted me around that park. Okay, 9.7 k's. Mm -hmm. Let's make it about 10 k's. Let's say over here, I actually want to come... Throw me a track point there. There we go. And bring me somewhere through there. What about 9.5 k's? Can't please everybody. Uh, that's interesting. It's throwing me a little, little detour there. Okay, let's just live with 9.3 k. So let's say that I'm planning to run it in about 5 minutes 40, uh, and then it'll work out for me what my time will be. 52 minutes, that's a nice run. And I can throw back the elevation plot. There's quite a nice little bit of a hill that I've climbed there, which is not obvious from the satellite image. So let's put the map back on. Okay. Yeah, so you can see I'm running up a bit of a hill here. Actually, I quite like this park less something or other. Let's, let's go run through there. So you can see, you can just play around with it, you can fiddle with it, and, um, interesting, doesn't want to throw me back along that road. Um, you can uh, you can find all sorts of nice routes that you want to go run, and when you're happy with your route and you fiddle with it enough, like I don't need to go down that extra little bit of a road there, um, when you're happy that you've got a nice route, then you can give it a name. So let's scroll back up again, scroll back up again, call it random Geneva and you can save that and then once it's saved you can send it to your watch now if you plug your watch into your computer I can decide what device I'm going to send it to uh, then it will connect through Garmin Express and it will send it now I don't have my watch plugged into my computer now uh, but what I can do is that once you've saved this this will be on your Garmin Connect profile so if you have Garmin Connect on your phone you can then send it to uh, send it to your watch. And you've got a whole list of routes that you've previously saved. Um, if, I, if you zoom right out of the map, oh wait, no, it won't show me on this map. Let's uh, go back to courses. And I can see all my 
all my courses that I've made around the world and say, oh yeah, I'm going to the States again. What was this route? Ah, Central Park 10K. That sounds like nice to go run. And there you can see the Central Park 10K with the heat maps and everything switched on. Um, so you can see where where people really like to run then. You can switch off those uh, running segments if you want to. In any case, so that's how to make a route and send it to your device.